Jeff Bezos is the number one richest man in the world right now, with an estimated net worth of $185 billion. Fun fact, Jeff Bezos is about twice as rich as the royal family here in England. Welcome back guys, Nathan here, and I'm really excited to be sharing with you the investment portfolio of Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon.com. Jeff has been through an amazing transformation over the last 20 years, going from this, just an average everyday office employee, to this, a badass billionaire. Now Jeff actually has a lot of different investments and it did take many hours piecing everything together to bring it all into one place. It wasn't just one simple portfolio like Warren Buffett. And in this video, I'm also going to include some of his best quotes so you can get a good idea of how Jeff thinks. If you do find anything in this video useful, be sure to click that like button. In fact, as this took so many hours putting together, if you've never clicked the like button on a YouTube video before, now would be the time. Okay, sit back and relax. Here are the key investments of the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos. So here's what we've got coming up. And being the world's richest man, he didn't actually just have one portfolio, he's got a few. So the first we're gonna look at the acquisitions made through the company Amazon. We'll look at the investments that have been made through his company Amazon. He's also got Bezos Expeditions, which is actually a venture capital company he's set up. So he can actually invest in smaller companies. He's also an angel investor. So this will be companies he's invested in just through his name. And then we'll finish with the Jeff Bezos real estate empire as well. So first up is the companies that he has bought through Amazon. And we're working in the billions of dollars here. And by far the number one biggest one was Whole Foods. So 63% of all his acquisition money was just on Whole Foods, 13.7 billion. 1.2 billion into Zappos, a billion into security with Ring, a billion into PillPack. So he's now got Amazon Pharmacy, almost a billion into Twitch, 0.78 into Kiva, 0.65 into Souk, 0.55 into Quidzy, 0.5 Elemental Tech, 0.037 Anapura Labs, 0.3 into Audible, 0.25 into Alexa, 0.15 into Goodreads, 0.11 into Woot, and 0.1 Accept.com, and then finishing with IMDB. So anything noteworthy worth discussing? So as mentioned, we can see the biggest portion is into Whole Foods. That was a big acquisition. You can see what a bargain he got for Audible and Alexa. So Audible is now a very big company and obviously Alexa plays a huge part. So they were tiny investments considering what he's built them up to. And then lots of middle of the road companies. We've had three big ideas at Amazon that we've stuck with for 18 years, and they're the reason we're successful. Put the customer first, invent, and be patient. Next, we're gonna look at the investments that have been made through the company Amazon. This time, we're only working in the millions of dollars. So this is a lot smaller. And again, by far the biggest investment made was Living Social, 755 million, Twilio, 130 million, Home Grocer, 100 million, 72 into Bill Me Later, 70 into Ezeba, 60 into Bank Bazaar, 60 into Cosmo, 45 in Ionic Security, 30 into Wine, 19 Cheddar, and 4.7 into Songza. So any key insights from this? Well, Living Social, you can see, was by far the biggest investment, and this was very similar to Groupon. In fact, it was Groupon's biggest competitor. And a few years ago, Groupon actually bought Living Social. 
So he's probably made his entire portfolio money back from the acquisition of Living Social. So he made a great investment there. And then lots of the other companies, they're probably not household names just yet. He actually chooses to invest in lots of different companies because you never know which ones are going to hit. And don't forget, Amazon has lots of other companies as well. So it's got Amazon Web Services, which is huge. You've got Prime, which is such a huge part of the business. You've got Amazon Music, as well as many other companies. So Amazon is actually a huge company of companies. A brand for a company is like a reputation for a person. You earn reputation by trying to do hard things well. Moving on to Bezos Expeditions, which is his venture capital company. And there's actually 72 different companies made up, but we'll just take a look at the top nine biggest ones. So again, we're working in the millions of dollars. The biggest one, 18% was plenty.ag for 200 million. Domo for 150 million. Lookout for 134 million. 132 in Juno Therapeutics, 116 into Vessel, 100 mil into Unity Biotech, 100 mil into Grail, 85 into Workday, and 62 into Convoy. So again, most of these are not big household names, but it's very diversified. He's got Biotech, he's got Therapeutics, Plenty.ag is actually vertical gardens. So normally people will be growing crops in a big field horizontally, but that takes up a lot of space. So Plenty.ag actually grows these gardens vertically. The keys to success are patience, persistence, and obsessive attention to detail. We now have Jeff Bezos as an angel investor. And again, we're working in the millions of dollars. We've got 32% into Everfi, 190 million, 112 into Airbnb, 75 million into ZocDoc, 62 into Convoy, 60 into Domo, 37 million into Uber, 37 million into Business Insider, 9 million to trace me, 4.5 million general assembly, and 1 million into Google. So any key takeaways here? Well, you can see he's definitely hit some home runs with his individual investments. We've got Airbnb, which is now huge. We've got Uber, which is now huge. And even though Google, you can see he only invested 1 million, this was actually back in 1996. So Google, if he actually kept on to this stock, would be worth multiple billions. But because of his net worth, I can see that he's likely sold a lot of this along the way. And the biggest one is Everfi, which is actually an education company. So he's definitely hit some home runs being an angel investor. And lastly, his real estate empire. So he bought a $1 billion Amazon headquarters in Seattle. He's got a 165,000 acre ranch in Texas, which he now uses to fly his rockets from, as you do being a billionaire. He bought an entire four block area in Seattle at 250 million. He's got a $28 million place in Washington state, an $8 million place in Manhattan, two multi-million dollar places in Beverly Hills, and at least 12 plus entire office buildings. So a hugely diversified real estate empire. So let's see if we can piece all this together into one big picture. So we know that his net worth is around about 185 billion. And we know that Amazon right now is worth about 1.5 trillion. And we also know he owns 11% of Amazon. So this actually works out to 165 billion of his net worth, which means everything else fits into the 20 billion. So to keep things super simple, like I do with this channel, his portfolio would actually look something like this. 
So 90% of his money is actually in Amazon and all the Amazon companies. And only 10% of his money is in everything else. So this is a much simplified version of what Jeff Bezos portfolio actually looks like. And let's not forget Blue Origin, his rocket company. And I've pulled their vision from their website and it's actually pretty cool. Blue's vision is a future where millions of people are living and working in space. In order to preserve Earth, our home for our grandchildren's grandchildren, we must go to space to tap its unlimited resources and energy. If we can lower the cost of access to space with reusable launch vehicles, we can all enable this dynamic future for humanity. And he'll be putting billions of dollars into his rocket company, Blue Origin. So what were the biggest takeaways from this entire portfolio of Jeff Bezos? Well, the interesting thing is I would have guessed that he would have owned at least 51% of Amazon to maintain control. And it was surprising that he only owns 11% of Amazon. Amazon is not just the e-commerce website that we all know and love. It's actually a huge company of companies, at least 25. Whole Foods was by far his biggest acquisition. He had invested in loads of different companies and he hit home with Google, Twitter, Uber, Airbnb. But I think if you throw so many darts at the dart table, you're guaranteed to hit a lot of bullseyes. And he certainly did with these companies. He's clearly diversified to the max and he's dominating life on Earth right now. So is space next. And his keys to success were patience, persistence, and an obsessive attention to detail. I live my life in such a way that in quiet moments of reflection, when I look back on my life, I have as few regrets as possible. So there you are guys, I think you'll agree what a diversified set of investments he has. Amazon.com has really helped Jeff dominate life on Earth and it'd be interesting to see whether Blue Origin helps Jeff dominate space in years to come. As mentioned before, if you did find anything in this video useful, then be sure to click that like button. And as this took so many hours to put together, if you've never clicked a like button on a YouTube video before, then now would be the time to do it. And it would be much appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button and join us. I do have some great videos coming up. And if you've got any questions or comments on this portfolio, you can post them below. And I will do links below for other billionaire investor portfolios portfolios. So if you want to see the portfolio of Warren Buffett or Ray Dalio or Bill Gates, then they'll be below. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video and it's bye for now.